Hey folks, Tinker Man here. How y'all doing? I'm doing just fine, I guess. You know, old saying goes, life gives you a bunch of lemons, you make lemonade. Well, I had one of them blowouts last night. Yeah. Had good air pressure, had 50% uh, rubber still left on it. But that's part of trucking. When you're carrying that kind of weight, sometimes that stuff just, uh, them tars just break down. But that brings me to the subject of uh, motorcycles when they pass commercial vehicles. In fact, I think Ride Victoria did a special about that, but. Let me tell you something, I, I've, I've seen people, you know, it gets hot down here in Louisiana. And I've seen guys on motorcycle actually sit there on interstate, get beside me, and ride right beside me for a long ways because they're catching the uh, sh shade from the trailer. And they think they're being funny. You know, hey, it's cool right here, I'll just sit here. But if a tar blows out and they're sitting there, most likely they're going to crash. Either from a chunk of the tar or because I scared the poop out of them. And that's what people don't understand. So do yourself a favor when you're passing a commercial truck on a motorcycle especially, give it some gas, get on around them. I mean, it don't take a rocket scientist to figure that one out, but some people, you'd be surprised how many people will actually uh, sit there and enjoy the shade. And I think I prefer to get a little sun in uh, hunk of rubber or a piece of metal or something that the duels hit and throws up and hits them. I like I know a lot of people you know they they like to post these little cartoon pictures of supporting uh lane splitting and uh lane filtering and yeah, you know, if you know it's on that cartoon, every car, every motorcycle there is uh, perfectly distanced. Hello, this is real world. They ain't perfectly distanced, and people ain't staying the same speed as the vehicle in front of them. So... Go ahead and post your little cartoons, but and believe what you want. But here's my theory: I haul gas. It's a liquid. Yep. For y'all that couldn't figure that one out, uh, it moves around. Next time you go down road, here's here's a little deal I do whenever I'm training a driver driver trainer trainee I should say that up uh, on how to haul gas I take a a soy pop or a bottle of water or whatever he may have been drinking on and after it gets about halfway through I ask him hey man you don't mind put that uh, lid on there good and tight and let me show you something I'll have them sit over there in the passenger side and just stare at that the movement of that liquid in that bottle as I'm driving down the road. That's part of his first day of training. Uh You know, 
and I tell them, now if you notice how easy I am, but you notice how much that liquid is moving. But that's how much that liquid is moving in back of that trailer times probably 100%. Or more and usually about that little show and tell there usually after I do that I have found I don't have near the problem with people sitting there getting behind my steering wheel when I let them drive and being careless and taking turns too quick and all that But it's a good exercise for y'all to do. And when you watch it and notice in your car just how much it's moving. Now my end, big truck is a lot rougher and everything. And I got a lot more. You got a cup full, I got 8,500 gallons of gas. So, you do the math. But people want to talk about lane splitting and all that. Last thing I need is someone to try and take my safe cushion away from me. Because as a tanker driver, and ain't just tanker drivers, this uh, loads too. Livestock, for example. A lot of people don't realize. You start getting cows and but livestock moving around in a uh, trailer, yeah, them drivers feel it, them bull haulers feel it good. Like I said, y'all, people want to post their little uh, cartoon pictures and everything as if this is a perfect world scenario. And it's not. Now, y'all notice all these dumpsters here? I think I showed this before. I ain't gonna show much of it because there's someone there. I don't want to have to be a witness of someone getting rid of a dead body. But anyhow, you got all them dumpsters there, you'll find all kinds of trash on the side of the road also. Makes a lot of sense, huh? But anyhow, um, where was I? I know some people, you know, they, they, they said, there, yeah, but you don't understand. Yeah, I understand. You, you're talking about lane splitting at 15 miles an hour and below and all blah, blah, blah. Well, here's a question I have for you. You on that crotch rocket or you on that dual sport, whatever you ride, and you be on a road that's nice and smooth and everything else and uh traffic's going 15 you know it, it the speed limit's 15 miles an hour be honest how fast are you going to get it going yeah i rest my case Yeah, I know darn well all that's going to do is open up books for people to sit there and, well, you know, law says I could do it at uh, 15 miles an hour. I'm going to do it at 25. Or I'm going to do it at 30. Next thing you know, we're going to be going down set the interstate doing 70 and 75 miles an hour and have fools doing it. Yeah, I, I know this is going to stir the stink pot, but... You know, I kind of get fed up with hearing these people who want to take my safe cushion away from me. I take pride in my job and I do it well. And I try to be the safest driver out there possible. I do not text and drive or none of that other. Number one, it's against law. Number two, it's stupid. Like I said, yeah, 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 I know everybody has their own opinion, and you have right to your opinion. Well, this is mine. 
you're out for a ride, cruising, you talk about how you enjoyed a motorcycle ride, well, why don't you try and rush through it? Relax, enjoy the ride. Well, if I ain't pissed everybody off where I've lost all my subs, y'all stay safe. Take your man out.